Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and welcome to another Sunday Reset. We're gonna do things a little bit differently today. It is late in the afternoon. It's 1.45, it's not that late I suppose, but um, it has been a long Saturday already. We had football this morning. Um, my other son is at cheer. It's just been like non-stop. Danny is out like weeding our entire yard. Um, I don't know if we've ever talked about like the grass only goes so far in, in our yard and then it gets kind of rocky so he can't mow he has to go around and like edge all of the the edges and he only does it about twice a month um and it just takes him hours and it's like five million degrees today but he's burning those calories he's getting some sun i can see him right now with his big hat on and he's got <laughs> he's got his shirt off and he's just trying to to get through it. So um, with all of that being said, it is a hot, hot day and I wanna go downstairs to the basement. Um, <clears throat> I want to kind of start weeding through my holiday bins downstairs and kind of show you a little bit about how I have everything organized down there. Um, but I want to edit my bins and just kind of, you know, find things that I'm not going to use anymore, offer them up to my neighbor friends and my mother-in-law. And if nobody wants them, then I'm just going to take them down to, um, Salvation Army because, you know, I got to make room for the new stuff that I am getting this year. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to head downstairs. It is cool in the basement. So, um, I'm ready for that. I've got my headphone in and trying to finish up, um, what is it, a quart of thorns and roses so that I can start the next book. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head down there and make the most of this super hot day down in a very cool basement. So glad you're here. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we head downstairs, I just kinda wanna show you what we have at the top of the stairs. I keep a bin up here that I can put decor that I'm like switching out in. Um, I've got that new, uh, uh, some new items I picked up at the antique shop. I just posted about those and then just some other decor pieces. Um, I also have my foot massager that I use probably every other night. Um, we also have our table leaf. So we can, we have one leaf in the table. We can add another right now. We've got, um, <clears throat> our pizza oven out. So we've got that in here. And then we also have a foam roller that we use every single day and griffin just started football so we have this tackling thing <laughs> um and outside of this window which i love so much you have this beautiful view of the yard here's danny uh but i just love looking at the gorgeous hydrangea from this view they are looking so beautiful they are gigantic this year i mean i oh the sun just went behind the clouds i think i've told you before that that's supposed to be a dwarf hydrangea but it is gigantic so that is going to be gorgeous in the fall with those really pretty changing color maroon flower tops so can't wait for that but let's go ahead and head downstairs uh that's where we're going these stairs are unfinished um, I think I've mentioned here before that the floor plans for this house did not originally have a basement. So this room right here is our guest room and it came all the way out to here and it had double doors. Um, but we needed a place to put the basement and this was the only place that made sense. So this right here is like my cleaning closet. Um, and then this is the basement. So we're going to go down there. It's really big. Um, it's kind of a mess right now, but don't judge. Okay, we're down in the basement now, and it's, like I said, a bit of a mess, but we're here. So this over here is, like, eventually where we want to have, like, a little bit of a home gym, if you will. Um, I don't know if out those windows you can see there's the trampoline um, and our little rock wall right above this is the family room. Out there is the deck. Um <clears throat> But down here, those are our old rocking chairs from our front porch. That's our old dining room table. That is a pile of things that need to go to the trash. Um, I've got already started a whole pile of donate over there. This stuff is all Danny's from his classroom that he had to bring home because he's changing um, classrooms. And then this is where we have majority of our storage. Um, so over here we have like... 
I think this is a box of games. Um, it's like our sleds and our snow things. I've got litter boxes over there. Um, you guys are always asking me where litter boxes are. They're down here. Um, those are all of our chairs for when we're hosting. And then this is where like the seasonal decor starts. And then we have all of this seasonal decor. And over there, these are like keepsake boxes. Those are all of our like snow jackets and big heavy jackets. And then on this side over here, <clears throat> we have, this is all of like our camping stuff. Danny has a lot of camping stuff, his snowboards. Um, up there, we just have like a box of cleats that literally we just always keep because Somebody's growing out of cleats and needing new cleats. He actually brought cleats to students last year. And then this is like extra kitchen items. So things that we don't need, sternos for when we host, that kind of stuff. Um, and then this is stuff that our children has to go through, uh, have to go through, like stuff that we found that we don't know if they want. That's our lizard's old container. Like just this is junk down here. I don't look at that. Uh, back there we have... That's extra flooring. And then we have like extra lights. We have um, just leftovers from building and around the corner back there and under the stairs, we've got um, like paint and all that good stuff. But yeah, that is, that's what we have. Uh, but this is what we're gonna focus on today. And I've shown this in a previous video. I showed a video where Danny was like cleaning down here. Um, and these are just uh, shelving units from Walmart. And what I love about these is they are perfect depth for these clear containers also from Walmart that I love. I will have everything linked for you down below. I am obsessed with these. I've talked about them a hundred different times. I am a firm believer in having clear totes so you know what's inside and you know what you're looking for. Now I have labeled them all. I have a label maker, which I'm going to go upstairs to get because we're going to label them a little bit more. I already started with the Christmas stuff um, by adding like what's inside. This is Christmas tree ornaments, Christmas shelf decor, that kind of thing. Um, but I want to do it with my fall decor and um, maybe some other things. We'll see. But I've got like this is all Halloween um, this up here is like regular decor. I'm going to show you. We're going to go through the bins for the most part. We're not going to go through them all, but I'm going to show you what's inside and how I store things. Um, <clears throat> but eventually the plan is to have another whole set of these shelves down like here. We're going to create a wall from the edge of this wall here, come all the way out, and then it'll come all the way across to the stairs, and there'll be a door there eventually. This was something we thought we were going to start working on this summer, but this summer took a terrible turn when we lost my father-in-law, and we just haven't recovered yet. So, um, <clears throat> in fact, I can't talk about it. Um, as I was saying, um, this over here is kind of like bulk uh, holiday decor. So, um, and, and other things in this big bin here, we've got blankets, old, not old blankets, but old blankets, blankets that the kids used to have on their beds that they don't use anymore that we keep, uh, for camping, for sleepovers, that kind of thing. This open bin here has a bunch of my, like bigger signs and boards and things like that for, uh, decor. Um, and I've got a big table back here for uh, entertaining. And these are big uh, tablecloths that fit that table. That's like a big banquet table uh, that seats 10. And this is what we use to keep all of our wrapping paper. Um, I've got baskets down here that are not currently being used. I've got Christmas trees galore. <laughs> And then that ba that bag there, which is from Amazon, that bag is from Amazon. That is old, uh, old garland, like cheapy garland uh, that I put outside. Um, and then in this box here, there are two uh, cheapy animatronic pirates, like skeleton pirates that we use for <clears throat> Halloween. So 
My plan today, my vision for today is to bring out a table and set it up and pull boxes down one by one and go through them and edit them, get rid of what I can and, you know, get get things ready to go to be donated and keep, you know, only what I still love or what I think I'm going to use um, so that I can make room for new decor. Because as of right now, I have just been adding more and more bins. Um, And although, like I was telling you before, the plan is to add another wall here of the shelves, which we will do. We'll add another shelf there. Um, And then on this wall here, I want to do like a hanging storage space for my wreaths. Um, That will happen like that that will be a plan right now. They're just kind of stored over here in this open section. I'll show you that. But uh, but for now, I need to try to not overwhelm our basement. I need to try to store what I can. And if I do need more bins, I have told Danny that I will just continue to fill the bins and just create a stack so that, you know, we can add more of these shelves as, as we go. But uh I just love looking at this. It's so organized. This has got to get figured out eventually, but for now, at least it has a home and I know what it all is. But this stuff is just like, it's fan. I just love it. I love looking at it. I love knowing that, you know, I can come down here and shop my own house. I get excited for the seasons when I come down here. And yeah, so let me go ahead and grab a table. I'm going to pull this folding table out. We're going to set it up under the light and um, we're going to go from there. But this is our basement. I don't, if you're newer to my channel, you may not have seen this before, but we do have these big, three big, nice windows out back. And then we've got that window over there. It's really, really nice. Um, Then there are the stairs. We've got like our air conditioning unit over there, that kind of thing. There's a kid (laughs) running through my backyard from the pool. Um, These windows are so dirty. I have never cleaned them since we moved in. There's a look at the pool from here and under the deck. That's such a cute, unappealing uh, view. But that's what it looks like. My neighbor's mowing his lawn. So dirty, we need to clean these windows, but that's not today's goal. Today's goal is to edit some boxes. The label maker that I use is this one here. It's the Brother P-Touch. This is terrible lighting, but (laughs) I just wanted to show this to you really quickly. I get it on, I got it on Amazon. I get my uh, cartridge replacements on Amazon as well. But what I love about it is I can use it to not only do wording, but I can also get these cute little icons. So this one I did, um, the knife and fork for Thanksgiving. So cute, but um, I will link this for you down below. It was very affordable and I am obsessed with it and I want to label literally everything. the way that I have things organized here um, were I tried to put like the most unused items over here in this corner. So I've got my spring decor up top, um, including like pillows that I use for the front porch. This is Easter. um, So it has our Easter baskets and our Um, eggs. And then this is another spring one here. The top one there is uh, backyard lights, um, which we need to put up. We put up for like parties and things, but I need to just put them up permanently. So we're going to start with this. We're going to go one uh, shelving unit at a time. So we're going to start with this one. And we're going to start with the Valentine's. I'm not going to do the spring ones. Um, because they're heavy and Danny helped me put those up there. So I don't want to try to get those down on my own, but we will start with Valentine's Day and 4th of July. Uh, Edit those and then we'll go from there.
after I got this bin down, I'm realizing that this was our most recent holiday and I think I edited this when I was putting things away. So I really don't need to do that again um, because I'm pretty sure I got rid of everything. There were things in here that I thought were going to be in here that aren't because I'm pretty sure I already donated those. So we're just gonna put these things back and get this back on the shelf because everything in here is stuff we're going to keep. These next two bins that I have are Everyday Greens, um, this one and the other one. Uh, and these are just flowers, you know, faux stems, um, garland, that kind of thing. My cute little lemon sticks that I used last year for my first supper club. Um, but these are not, I don't think we need to go through here. This is all stuff that I want to keep um, because you just never know. But I've got more of that seeded eucalyptus in here. Um, just, you know, everyday greens that, everyday stems that I could use for pretty much anything. It's the same thing with this bin here. Um, again, just more like everyday greens. Um, super pretty. Like Queen Anne's lace, is that what that is? Um, more of those snowball viburnums. Um, what else do we have in here? Just lot, lots of um, lots of different uh, like Amazon stems, things like that, that I have. Like these were very viral uh, for a little while. Not these, these are from Magnolia at Target. But these, this stem, this was very, very popular. This is from Amazon. This is um, from Amazon, sorry. Hopefully I remember to cut that out. I just had to yell at my boys because they're up there clapping and screaming at each other when I'm trying to talk to the camera. Um, but this is just full of all of that. It looks like there's also a small wreath in here. Uh, and then I've got these faux ferns that I got on Timu last year. Um, but I didn't do ferns this year in my summer garden. So we stuck with flowers this year. But that is what is in here, and we'll put this back because I want to keep everything that's in here in case I need it. This is an everyday, uh, everyday decor bin that I recently went through, so I'm actually not going to get rid of anything in here. There are picture frames. I've got a nice picture this is just stuff that I'm not currently using um, but things that I have you know if I want to use them when I'm switching out the home decor so I'm not gonna get rid of any of these items um, these are just bigger bigger items we'll put this one away probably one of my favorite bins that we have is our Disney bin um, this hat's covered in cat hair. As much of the things down here are because this is where our cats hang. But um, this is our Disney bin, and it's where we keep like all of our Disney gear, including fun Buzz Lightyear costumes. My daughter was Buzz Lightyear in a uh, recital, and um, the boys dressed up as Buzz for her for her show, but we also keep like Disney clothes. These are covered in cat hair because the cat must have been laying on those. But this is where we keep like all of our hats and our ears and our backpacks. Like Griffin got this when he was two. I'll try to remember to put a picture of him on the screen right now of him in this Dumbo hat. You guys, there's nothing cuter in the whole entire world than a two-year-old Griffin with the Dumbo hat. Like just gonna tell you right now. Um, but we also have in here like old shirts that don't fit anybody currently um, so that we can keep them. And I know you guys make fun of me when I say these things, but keep them for our future grandkids because we're huge Disney people. And um, 
they, you know, we can use these in the future. And it will be so fun to show them a picture of their mom or dad in the same shirt and for us to be able to take a picture of them. So I know everybody's always like, she's trying to rush her kids to have kids. I'm not at all rushing my children. My oldest is 17, guys. She's going to be a senior this year. Ain't nobody rushing anybody. But I am a planner and I think ahead. So we keep those for future reference. Put these all back in. Nothing in this bin is going away. Probably my most treasured bin down here. Another bin I'm probably not going to take anything out of is our costume bin. This is just full of Halloween costumes. Look at this, you guys. One year we were uh, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> and one of my kiddos was the Cowardly Lion. I think it was Ryan. He was just a baby. Um, he was born in September, so he was just, what, about a month old for Halloween. So um, keeping that. But this is also just a great little bin to grab when somebody needs, like, a quick costume. So we've got, like, milk and cookies. We've got um, a taco. This is, like, I don't know, Dracula something. Um, but we just keep this down here in case somebody needs something. So many times we've pulled from this for, you know, dress up days at school, that kind of thing. And of course I'm keeping this one because I want a picture of my future grandchild to, you know, I have problems, you guys. The last one on that shelf is full of Halloween decor, like big pieces. This is our big blow up pumpkin. Um, this is a pillow that lives outside on the front porch these are like outdoor pillows um and our big giant spider webs and one of our spiders so nothing in here to get rid of and that is one whole shelf done so now we'll start on the second shelf this bin here is another everyday decor. I have it as tabletop shelf decor. Um, and I'm pretty sure that I just went through this, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna go through it again and see if there's anything in here that I don't want anymore, which I think there will be. I'll keep some things, like these little houses I don't really use anymore. Some stuff I just keep you guys, cause you never know when you have a little spot to fill in, you know? Maybe I will keep that little house, because you never know. I definitely don't use this, homegrown and country raised. We're gonna let somebody else have that. Um, I don't even listen to country music. I have an extra peg rail in here. So these were technically Christmas decor uh, last year at Walmart, but I ended up keeping them and putting them in with my everyday decor because they didn't really go with my Christmas styling. So I think they're really pretty though. And I wanted to keep them just not for, not for uh, Christmas. So we're going to go ahead and put these things back. This is definitely stuff I want to keep. And got this old book. $6 from my local antique shop. Let's see if it has a year. 1911. How cool is that? Don't panic. That's just the air conditioner. Okay. It's an extra pillowcase. All right. Okay. This is kitchen decor. That's what I have it labeled as. And when I meant kitchen decor, that meant for like the kitchen, the dining room, and um, the sofa table because I can kind of put them anywhere in there. Um, things that have already been on the kitchen counter or whatnot. I love this little duck decoy. I should bring this upstairs. I would put this out right now except that Right now we have coastal going on, but um, let's take a look at what we have in here. I've not used this in a long time. 
I'm always afraid to get rid of decor because I feel like, what if I need it? These are cute. They had these cute little uh, like tiered tray items from Target in the dollar spot for a long time. I always think that's cute. Help yourself. And this one that says coffee bar. I like these. So I'm going to keep those. I have this rooster that I found at Home Goods that I really thought he was so cute. I saw him twice and I loved him both times, so I snagged him, but now I don't know if I love him anymore. Um, I don't know. We're not gonna get rid of him though because part of me still does love him, so. I feel like we should keep the tray with the other trays. Got a little tiny wooden spoon. That significantly gave us more room in here. <clears throat> now I don't feel bad keeping the rooster. This little wreath stays in here because it's a wreath for my pantry door. Okay, now we're getting into the fun Halloween bins. These are the ones I was really looking forward to um, editing through because I just don't know what I have in here. And I have so much Halloween decor, such old decor that I don't use um, and I want to just get rid of it. I know last year I did try to get rid of a lot. So I may not have a, um, you know, a ton of stuff to edit from here, but let's just see what we got.
we have gone through all of the shelves on these three. Um, I'm sorry, all of the bins on those three shelves, except for the bottom two that are Christmas and that one there. And I'm not going to get into the Christmas bins because I did this already a few weeks ago off camera. Um, and I just like went through, I did not necessarily like get rid of things. I did get rid of a few, um, but I need, uh, when it's time for Christmas decor, we'll go through all. There's just so many of these bins and I'm kind of over it. That took a long time. So um, I also have this bin <laughs> full of my stuff, like from childhood. I do want to grab um, the ladder to figure out what the heck is in these bins. I just put Halloween on them because I know they're Halloween, but I don't know what's in there. So I want to figure that out. And then this one here has the kids trick or treat buckets, um, as well as the fog solution for the fog machine, which is right there. And then this is our little broom that moves. And then that's that new hat that I got this year and the new spider web, which is right there. You probably can't see it. Um, but I don't know what's in those, so I wanna look. Uh, down here, I mentioned I have some just like open uh, decor. So this is a basket with a blanket in it. Um, this is my Halloween wreath. I've got some Crocs down here that aren't currently being used and my dough bowl um, and like some other just decor that's not being used, a big vase in the back. And then the bottom down here are just keepsakes. So literally just boxes of keepsakes. Um, that I spent way too much time going through the other day when Danny and I were down here working. We were down here for like six hours together. But yeah, this is a picture I printed from my old job in Vegas. Look at little baby Tiffany. Little baby. Um, but little baby Michaela. <laughs> She's a senior now. So crazy. But just these are just keepsakes. Um of the kids oh my gosh I love this picture this is from Disney one year before we had everybody like look at this picture Christmas a little baby Griffin so we have these keepsakes um, I need to come down here and like go through this stuff one day and figure out what it all is get it into bins or into um, into like photo albums and such. In here I have like old books. Um, I think I also have like a bunch of the kids like uh, artwork. I also have their old Girl Scout. I have Michaela's old Girl Scout vests. I have the boys, Boy Scout stuff. Um, so that's like what's in these bottom two. So on this side over here, this is a wreath or two, I think. These are all Christmas lights for indoor, like on our Christmas tree. Um, I don't remember what's in there. I think it's another wreath. I honestly, oh, it might actually, I have actually no idea. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, these are like bigger Christmas items, but that I could fit up there. Those are all of our outdoor lights. Um, these are Christmas trees that I put on our front porch. It's our tree skirt. Um, so now we just need to figure out what the heck is in those bins. So I'm gonna go grab the ladder and then I'm gonna look in there so that I can uh, put some labels on them because then it's just easier when I'm looking for something specific. furry buddy that came down here to join me but I wanted to show you a couple of things that I also um 
found that I need to put away properly. So these items I actually found in a fall bin, probably because I took them out or down from wherever they were when I was decorating for fall. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just going to put all of these in. This all will go in kitchen. That's probably going to go in uh, everyday decor, tabletop decor. And then I also have these lemons, which I'll probably put in the kitchen as well. Um, and then these items I actually just recently got, you guys. I am obsessed with this mug that I found. Danny hates it. Um, but I found him at TJ Maxx. Uh, and I think he's so cool looking and very vintage and super creepy. Um, and so Danny and I have been placing him in different places throughout our room, like to spook each other out. The other night he had it literally under my pillow. Um, I also found this adorable sign. Uh, last night when I was at TJ Maxx with, um, my friend Stacy and pretty sure somebody there took a picture of me. If that's you, please let me know down below, but <laughs> I could be wrong. Stacy said maybe they were taking a picture of decor, but I felt like they were taking a picture of me, but, um, I also found these, uh, coppery rose gold, uh, they're not coming out very coppery on camera, but they are, um, I found these for fall. So those uh, I'm going to put in a fall bin. So these just need to get put away. These will need to get put away. And then I've got my trash pile. This is my get rid of pile, which is puny and kind of a joke. Um, and this is going to go upstairs. I'm going to find a place to hang this. But uh, I, again, didn't go through the Christmas, but I really do feel like maybe I went through these bins when I was putting things away. Maybe that's why I don't have so many things to get rid of. Um, also, the top ones up here, this one actually has a ton of stuff in it. This bin right here and a lot of really, really great stuff. This bin has great stuff in it too, but also a ton of costumes and big outdoor spiders. So I'm not going to label that because I don't know if I'm going to put everything back in that bin or if I'll rearrange things a little bit. So we'll see. We'll see what ends up going in that bin, but I didn't want to label it and then switch it up. my friends that is going to do it for this video we have essentially gone through a good chunk of what we have over there and I just I'm glad that we got that done I am excited I'm so excited to decorate for fall I know you guys are half of you out there are like super thrilled half of you are kind of over it but we've got time nobody's doing anything in fact I'm going to go pop open a drink and Ryan and I are going to go play in the pool because it's a million degrees outside and so we're going to go enjoy the pool. My cats are on their cat scratcher situation over there right now but I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Something different. I didn't feel like you know cleaning the same old things for you know this Sunday reset. Sometimes I got to do something a little bit different so hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, big mess still but we'll get there we'll get there it's just a work in progress and you know a little bit at a time um it's a lot to do so you just got to do a little bit when you can uh and not just work away your summer because man it's august already and we're gonna be back to school before we know it so i'm gonna go enjoy the pool with ryan and i hope that you guys have a lovely week ahead thank you so much for joining me today subscribe if you're not and i'll see you in the next one Take care, my friends.